a little bit ago, I put out this video asking you guys and girls what virtual environment you think I should try using here to set up another um, test environment so we can start doing some more server stuff and client stuff. There was a lot of good suggestions. Um, I was looking at VirtualBox, I was looking at VMware, um, Parallel, or not Parallels, yeah, Parallels, I think it was, and a couple others, but I did say that money, let's just say money wasn't an object, but it is kind of an object, <laughs> and since I am familiar with VirtualBox, we're just going to stick with VirtualBox because it's free, um, it works well for what we're doing here, and um, that way you guys can follow along as well and not have to worry about spending any money. Uh, maybe later if... Um, funds are available i will look at uh, doing a different environment but for now let's stick with virtualbox with that said i'm on my imac here you can see in the background i am in our guest bedroom here so i already downloaded virtualbox i picked out the os 10 version and it's downloaded let's go ahead and kick it off here of course you don't need to watch the installation but whatever i'm going to go ahead and do it anyways um it shouldn't take too long it's been a while since I used VirtualBox, so bear with me if I'm a little rusty here. All right, double click on this icon. Sounds good. Yeah, it's gonna run, I'm fine with that. Installation type, we're just gonna install it default. Put in my password. All right, close. And it should be installed. Let's go ahead and eject this bad boy. Oops. Now, Virtual box. All right, welcome to my first virtual box. So really quick, how I'm gonna set this up, I'm not gonna do it too crazy like we did with the ultimate, or building the ultimate virtual box setup. What we got here is, I have an external hard drive, it's just a regular standard 7200 RPM, three and a half inch uh, Western Digital Black uh, hard drive. It's plugged in via USB 2.0. Um, it's not the fastest, best setup, but being as I'm on my iMac, I have an SSD in here. I don't have a whole lot of space. I have a, I have enough space. I could do it there, but I just don't want to. So on this external drive, I have two folders. I have an ISO folder where I'm going to store the um, ISOs that I download for Windows 10, Windows 20, Server 2012, yada, yada, yada. Um, and then I have a VM or a VM folder. This folder is going to be where I actually store and set up my virtual machines, just because I want to keep it separate from my standard SSD here. So with that said, I'll just leave that open. I'll come back over here. Welcome to VirtualBox. Uh, let's hit new. Again, bear with me. It's I mean it looks like it's the same thing as what last year, a couple years ago, or whatever. But um, Please choose a descriptive name. So this one, um, we're going to do, we'll set up Windows 10. So what I'm doing right now is I'm actually downloading two ISOs. And since I'm on a wireless connection out here, still not the greatest. It's going to take a couple hours. Uh, Windows 10, and I'm also downloading Windows Server 2012 R2, I think it is. Um, so let's go ahead and just name this Windows 10. And it found it, and it did pick 64, and that's what I chose to download as a 64-bit. So I'll continue. Select amount of RAM. Um, I have 16 gigs in this uh, iMac here. Uh, let's just stick with the default. Try to make it real simple. Create a virtual hard drive now. Yep, we definitely want to do that. And we're it's asking what what format or what file type for this. Um, we're going to stick with the default since we're not planning on switching over to a different uh, virtual environment. Yep, let's do dynamically allocated. Please type the name and where you want it to be saved. This is where we want to come in and say, all right, well, let's choose this external drive, which is VM drive, VM. And I don't know, I forgot how it structures it. So what I'd like to do, oh, in fact, you know what we could do? Let's cancel this. Let's let's cancel that real quick. Sorry, but let's just do it. And in here, uh, do we have preferences? Yep, let's go to preferences. We want to set up the default machine folder, which you can see right here, <laughs> it's on our uh, local drive. So let's go ahead and change this to VM. Oops. All right. And then uh, I think we'll just leave everything else alone for now. This will just make it easier for um, all the virtual machines that we set up. And then we'll just do this again. Windows 10, pick the right one. Default, yep. Continue, dynamically allocated, yep. 
Oop, did I hit open? Okay, there we go. Windows 10. Let's see. Let's just make sure it's going to the right one. Yep. Check it out. It created a Windows 10 folder, and that's where it's going to save it. And then any other virtual machines should be right in there. Now the size, 32 gigs for our testing. Um, I think it's a bit excessive. I got a terabyte in there, so let's. I mean, it's going to be dynamically allocated. So let's just let's leave it at default. Let's see what happens. It's not going to hurt if we have to redo this. All right, now that's set up, and we're just waiting for the ISO to finish downloading. Um, let's go ahead and create another one in preparation for the Windows Server 2012 R2. Windows Vista. Isn't there like a uh, Windows 10? All right. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I guess we could use Windows 2008 64-bit. What else was in there? Oh, right there, Windows 2012. I guess we should just delete that. I probably would have picked it anyways. All right, continue. We'll leave this default, we'll leave that. PDI, dynamic. Um, it's, asked, it's wanting to do 25 gigs. We can do 25. And there we go. So now we got our two virtual machines um, prepared for the actual ISO and the installation. All right, so this is the first video in our uh, little series here for setting up our virtual environment. And I just wanted to show you guys kind of how I'm structuring my folders, um, where I'm storing my ISOs, where I'm storing my virtual machines, and um, in preparation. So now I got to wait a couple hours for the two ISOs to finish downloading since I live out in the middle of nowhere out here and I don't have the greatest internet access. So, all right, guys, we'll see you soon.